In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically find and remove duplicate photos. Now, I recently downloaded all of my Facebook photos from my Facebook photo albums, and that ended up having a lot of duplicate photos. There are over 900 photos, and I just don't want to manually go through and find the duplicates myself. So that is what this tutorial is going to be, an open source and free program called Dupe Guru. I'm going to show you how to use that to do this for us. So here are the Facebook photos that I'm talking about. Whoops, they open up on the other screen. So if I select all of them, you'll see that there are 916 of them right off the bat. So. Let's go ahead and get the software that I was re referencing. It's called Dupe Guru, D-U-P-E-G-U-R-U. Uh, this is cross-platform. It works on Windows, Mac, and Linux, as you can see here. I'm on Mac, so I'm going to download this right here. And we want the Qt version, okay? So click on that. It's going to download a zip file onto your computer. We'll skip forward through this, and that's finished. So I'm going to drag it onto my desktop, and we're done in here. And let's extract this, so double click on that. And here is dupeguru.app. So the first time, especially if you're on a Mac, when you try to open this, it's not gonna let you uh, because of the un unidentified developer. Um, that's okay, we can get around that by going into system preferences, going to security and privacy, and clicking on, it says here, dupeguru was blocked because it's from an unidentified developer. Uh, we can open anyway, and that'll go ahead and open one more prompt about, are you sure you want to do this? That's okay. So here is the Dupe Guru uh, interface. So all we really have to do is point it to this photos directory, and it'll automatically scan for the photos, duplicate photos, and then we'll have the option to get rid of them. So click on this plus sign down here, add a folder. I'm going to go to my desktop and pick this photos directory. There's all my photos, so we'll open that up. And uh, yep, it's already in the list because I did this before, uh, so I know how it works. Um, so here's our photos directory. You have some options. I think most of the options, the default options are fine for everyone. So no need to change anything in there. And then all you have to do is click on this blue scan button in the bottom right hand corner. It is super quick. Uh, as you can see here, it found 37 duplicate folders. Let's confirm a couple of them are actually duplicates. So I'm going to open up my photos directory and let's go find 2018-04-19. So let's, oh, I'm sorry, 2008-04-19. And we want to compare the one ending in 512, which is this, this pretty face right here with the one ending in 328. And yes, that is a duplicate. So uh, it did good there. Let's try another one. Let's go down to the last one here, 2013 0603. And here it is. We want to compare the one ending in 11, which is this, with the one ending in 166. And that is, again, indeed a duplicate. So I'm trusting that uh, Dupe Guru has indeed found all the duplicates. So let's go ahead and select all of these duplicates by doing Control A. And that'll give a checkbox to each one of them. So we see 37 out of 37 are selected. And what we want to do to get rid of them is to go from the actions menu and send marked to recycle bin. Now, we're gonna see this happen in real time. So here's our photos, here's the deletion options. Uh, we'll just move that around so we can see what's happening. Um, you can directly delete the files. I'm gonna send them to the recycle bin, the trash, and I'll click on proceed. And you can see some activity over here. All marked files were successfully sent to the trash. Now, if we sh uh, do a select all, uh, and see how many files we have. Now we only have 879 where it was 900 plus before. So that adds up. That's very good. That's all you need to know for this video. If you want to see another one of my videos about scanning your old photos on another one of my channels, uh, check out this video, which I've done. I've scanned thousands and thousands of personal family photos, and I'm very glad that I did because it's nice to have those in the digital format. So Check that out next. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to that channel. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.